hi guys welcome back to the channel um so this video is a spin off from the previous video that i would have posted and as you could tell from the title don't allow the devil to make you curse the things that god bless you with why i say this is because like i said last week tuesday um my car was in a little small incident it shut down and it stopped working due to no fault of mine and um at first i was you know i was vexed and i was angry because who wouldn't be vexed who wouldn't be angry to know that you know you get this car and then it's everything supposed to be going fine but everything just say just so not going fine everything just start giving you a world of problems all my vacation money that i had save up all just went my first response was the why me why this I got doing this to my this thing supposed to come and make my life easier and not come and make my life harder or whatever i am a praying person i pray every day read my bible sometimes two three times for the day talk to god i just talk to god wholly every day so fast as i alone by myself i would talk to god and when i asked him why this was happening he kind of like start showing my certain things god don't cause pain god don't cause no pain at all in nobody life he would use the pain that was caused in your life to bring about his purpose but he of him of his own self he don't go about causing nobody pain and attic why i say this is i was reading my bible i think it was friday which was good friday and the bible verse of the day was yeah. i can't remember the exact verse but jesus gave sup to judas and then after he had eaten it he went and he betrayed christ the devil entered into him and he went and he betrayed christ so when i look back on the situation that happened to me with my car the person who do the maliciousness the devil enter into them because of their own things that they were going through they're going through their own stress and their own problems and then seeing me now being all happy and being all you know whatever like it bothered them so they just fuck up they just do whatever and the fact that i don't plan my life because i just plan i just plan out my things I don't plan out my life. I don't save up my vacation money. I haven't gone on a vacation in two years and something. So I say, look, soon as my mommy come back, I just leave the chair with she and I go on, on my nice little vacation, enjoy myself, enjoy my life. All my vacation money just boom, disappeared. That was it. So fast as the mechanic call and say, X, Y, Z is me just dipping my hand in the thing at first i sit down it's like the holy spirit just said to me in one of my quiet moments imagine if you had these kind of problems and you did not have the money to solve your problems so then when i realize that i start praying like i get happy i get happy and i start yeah i start rejoicing because the Bible verse says, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation because God is using it to refine your characteristics. So with this, God is using this to refine me, to show me that it don't matter what problem come my way, I can handle it. I have the necessary resources to handle it. Once I do malfunction, I can handle it. So I start finding things to be happy for like no matter how i was feeling i just start giving god praise i start giving god thanks i start saying father god thank you for 
for problems that I could afford. Thank you for thousands of dollars in problems you could imagine if I couldn't afford these problems. Because I remember one time when I couldn't even afford five dollars in problems. I couldn't afford ten dollars in problems. I couldn't even afford for nothing to even the breeze to even blow wrong. And the fact now that I at a level in life that I could afford thousands of dollars in problems by myself. Thank you for my next level. I on a level I didn't even realize that I on this level. I have car problems. Thank you for the fact that it is make a way for me and you provide for me and I could now afford thousands of dollars in problems. So I just started being happy. Thank you for the car. It is a blessing. I would never say it is not a blessing. It still is a blessing because for this week, when I sit down and I look at it, the amount of transportation money for the two children and myself to go to work and school and back is about 600 and something dollars for the week, for one week. And with the car, it's about maybe about $300 or so to fill the tank because gas prices gone up. A full tank would, would last me about a week or two because I don't really drive and go anywhere. It's straight home, straight to work. But with having to carry them to school and stuff, it might last me about a week, week and a half. So it would still work out much better than having to um, travel. Rain falling, you have to walk out. Because where I live in, I have to walk out to the main road. With the car, you don't have to walk out. You just walk out the house, you jump in the car, you go about your life. You don't have to, when I have to go and make groceries, I don't have to hire nobody, pay nobody to drop my home or stand up on the side of the road and hope and pray that I get a taxi that go into where I go into. So it would, it is still a blessing, no matter the fact that it broke down and I had to spend out all my vacation money and I, and I get all this additional stress. It's like God just showed me that, yes, no matter what come my way, he already was a step ahead and he already moved me to save my money to go on my vacation and even though i had to spend my vacation money to solve my problem it's not a situation where i in dire straits and nothing not going and happen for me it's a situation that the devil tends to use illusions he tends to use your emotions he can't kill you he can't take away nothing that God gave to you. So he does use you to do his own dirty work. Because if you, whatever you say out of your mouth, that is it. If God presents you with something and you curse it, because that is the power. God gave us the blessing the, in the tongue. There is the power of life and death. So if you bless something and say it is a blessing, then it will be a blessing. If you curse it and say it is a curse, then it will be a curse. So don't allow frustration and stress to make you curse the things that God bless you with. Because God don't give you nothing to frustrate you. God does give you things to bless you, to move you to the next level in your life. And you have to be wise enough to realize when the devil trying to frustrate you and make you throw away your next level. Because people advise me, oh don't fix the car, don't do this. Pack it in front of the house, leave it, give it up. You know, people was advising me that. But when I sit down and I look at it, I say, you are not doing that because God provide for me financially so that I could look after my car. Whether or not I go on a vacation for a little while, that don't matter. The main thing is I have the funds, I will use it, I will fix my car and everything will be all right. So that is just the message for today. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next in the next one. Bye. Be yourself. Nobody fear to you for yourself. What's important? How you see yourself? They won't see it till you see yourself. Can't get money 